Microsoft announced the retirement of our beloved MCSA, MCSC, and MCSD certifications. And then due to the COVID-19 pandemic, decided to extend it. So, is it still worth getting? Let's talk about it. Quick recap. Microsoft announced the retirement of these certifications in late February of 2020, with a retirement date of June 30th, 2020, which was a shocker to all of us for many reasons. Number one, it didn't give us a lot of time to acquire or finish acquiring these certifications. Number two, these were the premier Microsoft certifications for the last 20 plus years. I've been chasing them for that long, and it broke my heart when I read the news. And number three, they're not replacing them. Windows Server, SQL Server, Exchange Server, SharePoint, they're just gone, at least for now. And it kind of makes sense because Microsoft is focused on the future, the cloud, Azure, and eventually they will roll these products into Azure-based certifications. Then March came along and the world was flipped upside down with the global pandemic. And amidst that chaos, Microsoft said, you know what? We're going to extend the retirement date of these certifications to January 31st, 2021, which changed the game a bit because now we have a good chunk of time to either finish acquiring or, starting from scratch, acquiring their certifications. Nine months is totally possible, especially with all of us in isolation. So if you need something to do, tackle these certifications. It's worth it. They'll go on your transcript for life. Microsoft also stated in this most recent update that if you have a role-based certification that was set to retire between now and December 30th, 2020, that has also been extended six months. And I'll use the example that they gave if you have a role-based certification expiring on, say, September 30th, 2020, that is now extended to March 30th, 2021. Now, for those of you that have already acquired your MCSA, MCSE, or MCSD certifications, and you still want to stay in the certification game, where do you go from here? And really, our best and only option right now is Azure. It's a great time to get into Azure certifications. And again, Microsoft is going to be rolling a lot of these product-based generalist certifications that we had into new role-based specialist certifications. We can actually see that with the brand new Database Administrator Associate certification, which contains SQL Server content. I fully expect to see other back-end products like Windows Server eventually baked into these Azure role-based certifications. So it's a good idea to keep those skills sharp because certifications will come eventually and employers still desire these skills. Also, don't forget to check out Microsoft's certification page from time to time. They're constantly adding new exams and certifications. In fact, their most recent one that just entered beta is the AZ-104, the Microsoft Azure Administrator exam, bound to be a popular one and a great starting point for IT professionals to get into Azure. Hey, thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out to get notified when new videos are available. Good luck on your certification journeys, and I'll see you next time.